what is Alzheimer's disease? We, we consider it a separate process than those two things. Um, this is a brain disease where we see uh, the loss of brain cells and cell death, dramatic cell death in areas that are important for memory and thinking. Um, it's the number one cause of dementia. So dementia is, that, is a broad term that just means cognitive problems that interfere with daily function. So we have age-related changes, and we as we talked about, we have dementia, where we have problems in doing the things that somebody's always accustomed to doing. The number one cause of dementia is Alzheimer's disease. So the difference between Alzheimer's and dementia is Alzheimer's is a cause of dementia. There are other things that cause dementia, like strokes, other uh, rare uh, neurodegenerative diseases that we're that we focus on, but and I don't know if you've heard of them, but uh, front, but frontotemporal dementia, dementia with Lewy bodies, and then progressive supranuclear palsy, a bunch of real odd, real rare things. Uh, but uh, and the number one cause is Alzheimer's disease. So 50 to 70 percent of all dementia is caused by Alzheimer's disease. So. Um, we're hearing lots about Alzheimer's. Another figure, I just want to make the point that as we get older, we're at high risk of Alzheimer's disease. Um, and this is the prevalence of Alzheimer's disease across these three age groups. And if you look at the right there, 85 and older is somewhere between 40 and 50 percent of people in that age group over the age of 85 have Alzheimer's disease. So, be, so put it another way, one third to one half of people over the age of 85 have Alzheimer's disease. So just to tell, tell a quick story about the history of Alzheimer's disease. So this, this woman uh, was in her 50s, and her husband took her to uh, the hospital in about, I think it was 1903, 1902, uh, and it was an insane asylum. It's the only place that, the only option he had at the time. He, had to, he couldn't care for her at home anymore because she couldn't do the things that she was accustomed to doing. She had dementia. She couldn't, uh, uh, and she was also... Uh, so she couldn't care for herself, basically. And at the same time, she was violent and agitated and would, would uh, attack her husband and accuse him of infidelities. And she, had a, she was fixated on the neighbor wife, uh, who she accused of uh, infidelities with her husband. And, uh, so this major problem, so he took her to the hospital. And this doctor, Dr. Alzheimer, was a pathologist. Uh, this is in Germany. And he, studied, he actually saw her when she arrived and then followed her for four years and um, noted her memory problems and her agitation and behavioral issues. And then when she died, he studied her brain. And this is actual brain tissue under the microscope from, from this woman, Auguste D. And what he found was all these dark abnormalities. He used a special technique uh, to bring these things out. But these are all abnormal uh, changes, things that he didn't expect to see. And he reported this and he, and he, in, in, in a journal. and. Um, he suggested that all her cognitive problems were related to this brain disease, and her behavioral problems were related to this brain disease. It was a relatively new idea that those kinds of things that make us who we are are rooted in the brain, and that brain disease can cause all these problems. And that's where the disease comes from. So over the next couple decades, this began to be recognized as Alzheimer's disease. Um, so she was fairly young, and she looked very old. She aged very rapidly. Uh, now, when she died, I'm told, and I don't know how to verify this, but I've been told by my former mentor that, uh, sh that he, her husband, ended up marrying that neighbor wife. <laughs> so, pretty interesting.